And thank you, Marie Higgins. Uh, she's a very dear friend to me. Well, actually, Stanley Fletcher, Marie Higgins, and Judy Baker are all really good friends of mine, and I've kind of coerced them into letting me uh, launch my fifth book of the series by doing some blogs on their uh, blog. But I'm doing blogs, whatever they're called. And um, I know I'm a geek, but hey, it's easier than typing it out. I do that all day with it. If I'm going to be typing, I'm going to be writing. So anyway, um, the first one was on Stanley Fletcher's uh, blog, and it was all about disappear and the Beckett's and the backstory of where I came from or how I got the um, idea and stuff for the actual series, how it started out is it was just going to be one, one book and now it's five and soon to be six, maybe seven if I do a Christmas one. Anyway, so today on Marie's blog, I am actually going to talk about Innocent. And this is the second book of my um of my series and it's about Jessica Beckett and uh, she is one of the younger Beckett siblings and uh, she's a math teacher and all she wants is a nice home life with you know the white picket fence the kids in the backyard be a soccer mom you know just a normal everyday you know mom uh, however first off she gets accused because she's a math teacher and there are some sorry my nose itches somebody's talking about me anyway so there are athletes in her class and because the coach is so gung-ho to get them recognized for college football um and then maybe get you know if he someday could be the coach of an nfl play you know one of his former students or something anyway he knows that there is a game coming up that's going to have some scouts. And she is not going to just pass his students. They've got to um, get their grades because grades are important. Yes, athletics is important, but grades are, you know, if they want to succeed in life, they have to have the grades too. So anyway, she tried to work with them. She tried to get, you know, um, tutors. She did everything in her power. Talked to the kids, talked to their moms and dads, and most of them were willing, but there was one that the dad's like, no, he's got to go to football. And anyway, the coach came up with a plan and she ended up being accused of um, sexually doing something with her students, with these three students, and um, and all to take the focus off, you know, get her out of the picture so that they could do. And I came up with this idea because um, in, you know, in the paper at the time, there's a lot of students having, you know, relationships with their teachers and the teachers were going to jail. And, and some of them that like the young, young women that just out of college and they're teaching um, high school. And so the guys are, aren't that big of an age difference. And, and anyway, so that's where I got the idea. Only I put the twist to it. But you know, if that's not bad enough, then the hitman, one of the hitmans from Disappear decides to take her because she is in love with her brother's partner, Gabe. Although he's resisting it because he can't have a relationship with his partners and one of his best friends, little sister. Come on, he's a grown man. He can't be doing that. But anyway, so he, she gets caught or kidnapped by this guy. And of course, it's Gabe's nemesis. And he only he has an idea of where it's gone. And so he has to rec rescue her and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to give away any secrets. But anyway, um, that's where it came from. And so I, you know, that's the second book, and uh, so if you want to find out about the third book, which is Quiet, there, you can see it now, um, that's going to be on Judy Baker's blog next week, and um, just a little bit about the family in general. There's six six siblings. Uh, the oldest is Tyler, who was in Disappear, and then Christine, who is in Quiet, and then Matt, who is in the one that's just newly released in Profit, and then there's Jessica, and then there's the California twins, which is Glenna and uh, Reagan. And Reagan's book is Illusion, which is the first part of Prophet. All of my books were supposed to be standalone, and they were until I hit Illusion. So Illusion ended up 
being the first part of a of a you know a group of people that are trying to make the world a utopia and it ends up and concludes in profit and then abandon will be glenna's story and um so and she lives in calistoga which is one of my other favorite places um my one of my favorite places is Brooklyn and New York, which is where most of the Beckett's are are taking place and and the scenes and everything else is um profit is done mostly in d c um so all of these places I love I've been too many times um so anyway, if you want to continue on uh quiet is uh going to be on Judy's um blog um I have a raffle copter going on, and on the post on all, all of our blogs, there'll be a place where you can go to the raffle copter, and it ends at the end of April. It's a $25 gift card for anywhere you want. It can be it can be a restaurant, any place. I don't care. You tell me where you want the $25. Um, my buy links, my where you can find me links are all on the blog. And so, again, I want to thank Marie for having me, and I'll see you guys next week at um, Judy Baker's. And by the way, this is my office. This is where I create. I'm not sure what I create, but this is where the voices talk to me. Have a good day.